what was there before that? Hey gang, Arlo here getting ready to hit the road in my Chevy Silverado to find out. In downtown Norfolk, behind Harbor Park, you'll find a rickety wharf with a cracked concrete floor jutting out into the Elizabeth River. That precarious pile of trash used to be one of Hampton Roads' most innovative and exciting concert venues. It started life as the Boathouse at Bessie's Place and then just became known as the Boathouse. Now, before it was used for concerts, it was a warehouse. Originally built in the 1920s, boats would come in off the bay and drop off fish, oysters, crabs, and other items. Eventually, the building was acquired in a land trade with the Peck Equipment Company. And instead of tearing down the building, one of the employees at Peck approached Bill Reed with a new company in town called Cellar Door Productions about turning the building into a concert venue. Bobby Mwadi and I went over there and looked, and as we walked in the building, you can literally see the Elizabeth River underneath you. We talked to Stanley Peck and he went ahead and put concrete down on the floor and made some minor adjustments on the inside. I remember September 4th, 1983, and I know some of you do. The Nighthawks and Skip Castro Band were the first to play the Boathouse. The Boathouse was one of the first all-ages venues in the country to separate the different ages the drinking crowd from the underage crowd with chicken wire. Years later, it was updated to a fence, and on one occasion, a Ramon show, that fence came down. They were rocking the fence, and it was bolted in with some fairly large lag bolts in several locations, and they basically ripped the fence. And the next thing you know, they're surfing the fence. We had to get a team together and go in there and take the fence from the kids. The band never missed a beat. It's almost like they didn't even notice or they didn't even care. The Boathouse would see some great bands through the years. Bad Company, Greg Allman, Iggy Pop, Fish, Cheap Trick, In Excess. Not only did the fans have a great time, but so did the bands. George Clinton Band played so long they would have meals in between while the show was still going on. Certain band members would come off, eat, and the band still would be playing, and they would go back and start playing again. I mean, I think they were caught up in the moment, too. People didn't want to leave the stage. We'll have more on the Boathouse in our next installment of What Was There Before That, brought to you by your local Hampton Road Chevy dealers and the 2014 Chevy Silverado.